What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to our video. Today I'll be doing my official 2022 NASCAR Cup Series predictions. There'll be 20 predictions for the 2022 season. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. Prediction number one, Hedger Motorsports will win at least 15 races in the 2022 season. I do not expect Hedger Motorsports to slow down. In 2021, Hedger Motorsports scored the record that they most had since 2007 season when they scored 18 wins. This year, they scored seven in last 2021, they scored 17 victories. And with how good their team is and how much I think the team's only going to get better, plus, especially when it comes to new generations of cars, Hedger Motorsports seems to be one of the top teams when it comes to new generations of cars. So I think Hedger Motorsports will win a lot of races. I would not entirely be shocked if they get up potentially 18 or 20 wins in the 2022 season but i think going to 2022 they will score at least 15 wins i think they're going to be fast and i think all four drivers have a chance to not only get one or multiple wins from each driver in the 2022 season prediction number two there will be at least one flip on a super speedway race in the 2022 season. Now, I know the NASCAR has basically kind of reduced horsepower on the package. Remember, we have actually not seen the next-gen car do any sort of testing at the track. They haven't determined in the horsepower at this given moment. And every single year for a while, we have seen, with the current package and stuff, we have seen flips. In 2019, we saw the flip with uh, Brendan gone, and we saw another flip thing earlier in the year in Kyle Larson, too. In 2020, we saw the bat wreck and flip that Ryan Newman had, and in 2021, we saw the Joey Logano flip. So I think that there will be at least one flip on a Super Speedway in 2022. That's what I expect, and I think it'll come either in Talladega or Daytona. I don't know if it'll be in Daytona 500, but there will be at least one flip at a Super Speedway race in the 2022 season. Prediction number three, there will be at least 15 Cup Series winners in the 2022 season. I think we have probably the most competitive NASCAR Cup Series field ever, and especially with the next-gen car, there are so many unknowns. And I think just like 2021, we're going to start off this year with a bang. You think about all the teams that can honestly win this year. All 400 cars, all four Joe Gibbs cars, uh, both RCR cars, all four SHR cars can win for all we know. 2311, both their cars, Trackhouse Racing, GMS Racing. There are so many teams in the NASCAR Cup Series here that it could have a very, very good chance of winning. And I think we'll have at least 15 winners. In 2021, we had 16 different winners. I think we at least get 15, but I could see potentially up to 17 or 18 guys getting wins. But I think that there will be at least 15 guys who gets wins in 2022. Prediction number four, Bo will also score at least one win in the 2022 season. Now, Bubba Wallace in 2021, he picked up his first career NASCAR Cup Series victory at Talladega in the fall. I think the Bubba Wallace is once again going to win in the 2022 season, and I think that is going to come at a Super Speedway. Which Super Speedway do I think he's going to win at? I think the Bubba Wallace is going to win the Daytona Cutoff Race the last race before the end of the regular season. I do expect the 2311 and especially Bubba Wallace are going to improve as an organization next year, considering that Kurt Busch will be coming into the team. But I think that Bubba Wallace in 2022, he's going to form very, very well. I think he will have enough points to even make in plus regardless. But I think the Bubba Wallace will score a win at a Super Speed race in the 2022 season. Hope he gets a win on a regular non-Super Speed race. But I think his second career win is going to come at another Super Speedway as well. Prediction number five. Kurt Busch will score at least one win in the 2022 season. And that will be done with 23-11 racing. Kurt Busch has won a race every single year since the 2014 season. Now, he's only had one season where he's won multiple races, but I think Kurt Busch will once again continue that one-win streak, and that streak he's had for about seven or eight years, and I think continues it by getting picking up the win. Where do I think he picks up the win? I think he's going to get the win at a not a intermediate track because the last three wins that Kurt Busch has had have come at 1.5 mile tracks. 2019 in Water, Kentucky, a mile and a half track. In 2020, he won a Las Vegas, a mile and a half track. And in 2021, won Atlanta Motor Speedway. Yeah, you guessed it, a mile and a half track. I think Kurt Busch will win it at a shorter oval. I think it'll be at Richmond International Speedway in 2022. He's won there multiple times. I think Kurt Busch will pick up one win with 2311 racing. We'll see both drivers from 2311 score victories next season prediction number six there will be at least three first-time winners in the 2022 season in 2021 we had three first-time winners those being michael mcdowell in the daytona 500 christopher bell in the uh, second race at daytona road course and we saw bubble Wallace win at talladega super speedway there are so many drivers that I think have a very strong chance of picking up first career wins. You have Austin Sinder, who's going to be in the 2 next year. You have Harris Burton in the 21. You have Tyler Reddick in the 8. 
You have, uh, you have, of course, both track house drivers that have a chance to win. There are so many drivers, Ty Dillon, there's so many drivers that potentially could pick their first win, first current NASCAR Cup Series victories. And I think for sure we're going to see at least three pick up their first career victory in 2022. I think it happens next year. Prediction number seven, Kyle Larson is going to win at least eight races in the 2022 season. Kyle Larson, of course, is coming into 2022 season after def trying to defend his NASCAR Cup Series championship. I also believe that Kyle Larson will go back-to-back -back in championships, and he'll have another dominant season. Kyle Larson, no doubt, I think is just in the beginning of his push to be a great driver in the NASCAR Cup Series field. You look at statistically other Hendrick Motorsports drivers as well. They tend to back up and only get better in the second season, and I don't expect Kyle Larson to slow down in much. I think he could also potentially win to up to as many as, you know, Eight or at least up to maybe 11 or 12 races next year. I think he's going to win a lot next year. But I think for sure Kyle Larson will score at least eight wins in 2022. I think he gets it done. I think cross the victory with the race, the races with eight victories at least in 2022. Prediction number eight. Kevin Harvey will get back to victory lane in the 2022 season. I think Kevin Harvick is going to get back in victory lane. Kevin Harvick had his first winless season since the 2009 season, had a 12-year win year win streak going into 2021, but failed to win a race, and that was because SHR really did not have a good year in the 2021 season. But I think that Kevin Harvick is going to have a little bit of a bounce back here. I think he's going to at least get one win or two. I think Stuart Haas Racing is going to show a lot more pace, and they're also going to show a lot more speed in the 2022 season. So I think to have Kevin Harvick for sure will get at least one win. I think he for sure will get two wins in the 2022 season. One of those I think is going to come potentially early in the year, like Phoenix or something like that. But I think that Kevin Harvick will get back to victory lane at least once. I think it will happen multiple times, but I believe that Kevin Harvick will at least win one race in the 2022 season. Prediction number nine, Kyle Larson is going to run the 2022 Indianapolis 500. There have been a lot of rumors in regards to Kyle Larson. A lot of media members have spoken about to potentially about Kyle Larson maybe wanting to run the Indianapolis 500 in 2022. And remember the report that Robin Miller made talk about that if his last sign wish is that he wanted to have Kyle Larson run in a Team Penske Chevy at the Indianapolis 500. That was his last sign wish. Remember how good Kyle Larson was in 2021? I expect him to be really, really good in the 2022 season. But I think that Kyle Larson 100% will run the Indy 500. And he says he wants to be in a really competitive car. I think that he will drive for Roger Penske. And I think a lot of the reasons that that is going to be the case is he is coming into after winning the NASCAR Cup Series championship. You think about all the headlines that potentially come out of this. Kyle Larson run the Indy 500 would draw a lot of eyes and a lot of Kyle Larson fans and NASCAR fans would definitely be able to go and check it out. And likely we'll have full capacity as well. And having a superstar like Kyle Larson, who is really, really well known around the world and potentially the best driver in North America at the moment, Kyle Larson, I think for sure is going to get it done. I think he'll run the Indy 500 in 2022. Prediction number 10 in the halfway prediction of this. There will be at least 25 drivers that will score at least one top five finish in the 2022 season. Like I've already mentioned, I believe that this field this year is the most competitive NASCAR Cup Series field we have ever had. And there are a lot of drivers that I think are really, really talented. I think there could be at least 30 drivers that could this year contend for a NASCAR Cup Series playoff spot. And there are super speeders potentially where some of these teams are going to be able to get top five finishes. But I think 100% for sure you're, we're going to see at least 25 teams get it done. We've seen it before where a lot of guys have been able to go out there and win races. And I think for sure he gets it. I think we're going to see 25 guys get it done. The competition is really high this year. I think we had 20 or 21 or something like that get top five this year. I think we had a lot do that this year. But I think for sure we will see at least 25 drivers score one top five finish in at least one top five finish in 2022. Many will get more than one top five finish, but for sure, I think a lot of people will get at least one top five finish in their respective seasons. Prediction number 11, Joey Logano is only going to win one race in the 2022 season. This little bit bold considering we're going into a new car and Joey Logano has been very, very strong and for many, many years has gotten multiple wins. However, Joey Logano only won one race in the 2021 season and that was at Bristol Dirt. And Joey Logano has tended at points to have peaks and valleys in his career. And I know that Joey Logano has plenty of time in his career to still really show his stuff. But I do not believe that Joey Logano win one more race in 2022, considering the competition next year, too, like I've mentioned multiple times, is going to be very, very strong in the 2022 season. Like, I expect Joey Logano to be good and be extremely consistent, and I think he will 100% make the playoffs in the 2022 season. 
But I think that Joey Logano will only score one win in 2022. He only gets one win. Prediction number 12. Austin Cedric is going to make the playoffs in the 2022 season. He is going to be the only rookie that I believe is going to make the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2022. I have a couple of reasons for this. Number one, I think Austin Hendrick is going to win at the Road America. I think he's going to win at Road America later, early in the year. I think he will at least get that win at Road America and pick up his first career victory. We saw how good he was at Road America in 2021 for unfortunately having electrical problems that really took him out of contention to contend overall for the victory in that event. But also, that two car, I think, is going to be really, really strong. I know that in 2021, that car took a little bit of a step back. But I think Brad Keselowski, at the time, he was trying to get focused to go over to Roush Family Racing. But, Roush Family Keselowski Racing. But, I also do believe that, that Brad Keselowski did have a really good end of the year stretch. And they were able to make it to the round of eight as well. So, I think that Austin is going to win at least one race to make the playoffs. I think he'll have enough speed to make it on points. But, Austin, I believe, will make the playoffs in the 2022 season. Prediction number 13, Brad Kozlowski is going to win one race in 2022 with RFK Racing. As you already know, Brad Kozlowski is going to be going to RFK Racing to be a co-owner slash driver at the organization in 2022. And I look at tracks where RFK Racing has shown a lot of speed. I look at super speedways. They have, you guessed it, Roush Yates engines. And it seems like the RFK cars tend to have been really, really fast historically. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Guy has only two Kirk Cup Series victories in the 17 car for, you guessed it, RFK Racing. And I think that they actually are going to improve next year in 2022. I can see Brad Kozlowski running up front in many, many events. But I think that his win will come out of Super Speedway. I think that that was where he'll get his first his first win for RFK Racing. Now, in 2023 and 2024 down the road, I can see him being a championship contender. I think he only gets to the round of 16 in 2022. But I think Brad Kozlowski in 2022 is going to score one win, and he will make the playoffs in 2022. Prediction number 14, there will be only two photo finishes in the 2022 season. And I think both of those are going to come at Super Speedways. I believe we did not have really any photo finishes in 2021. I, we kind of had some decently close finishes, but they weren't as close as previous times before. And there weren't really any photo finishes on Super Speedways this, this year in 2021. But in 2022, I think we're going to get back to our ways of having some photo finishes. I think a few guys are going to get it done next year, and we're going to see some close finishes at the Super Speedway tracks. Now, for all we know, we could have photo finishes at tracks like Martinsville and Phoenix and Bristol and all those types of tracks named Bristol Dirt. But I think that there will be at least two photo finishes, regardless of a track, really don't know. But there will be at least two photo finishes in 2022. Cars coming side by side of the checkered flag. I think it happens. There will be two, at least two photo finishes in 2022. Prediction number 15, Chase Lee is going to win at least three road course races in 2022. Chase Lee is probably the best driver on road courses at the moment. Kyle Larson definitely has challenged him in regards to that department when it comes to road courses, but I still believe that Chase Lee is the best driver on road courses, and he could have won a lot more road course races in the 2021 season than he had done in previous years. Now, of course, one thing, you know, is that we're going into with a new car next year, so it's really unknown how well Chase Elliott is going to do on the road course side of things. But I don't think Chase Elliott is going to struggle on road courses in 2022. There are going to be six road courses in 2022, which is down from seven in 2021. Well, the good reason it was down for 2021 was because in 2021, basically at the time, they had seven because they moved the Auto Club race to Daytona, the Daytona road course. So I expect going into 2022 that we're going to see Chase Elliott at least get three wins. He's really good at walk. He's going to probably should have won that, but has splashed him out of the tires. Almost got up front. Won at, Road America, won at Road America, and I think it'll show a lot of speed. And I think Chase Light, for sure, will get three road course victories in 2022. Prediction number 16. Kyle Busch will once again win at least two Cup Series races in 2022. Kyle Busch in 2021 picked up two victories, those coming at Pocono and the other one coming earlier in the year at Kansas. And I think, like I said with the next-gen car, the talent is supposed to matter a lot more. And I know that Kyle Busch has not at this time tested the next-gen car. He's expected to test the next-gen car coming up at Phoenix later this year. But 
I think that Kyle Busch for sure will get at least two wins in the 2022 season. I think he's going to show a lot of pace. I think he's going to show a lot of speed throughout the year. I think he's going to be the driver that has a really good chance of bouncing back. Now, we don't know what the pick crew of the team is really going, looking like as they're now going into next year, which could have a really big determining factor in how good Kyle Busch is going to perform next year. But I think Kyle Busch for sure will at least get two wins in 2022. He's been really good at different types of tracks, and I think Kyle Busch scores at least two victories in the 2022 season. Prediction number 17, Mark Truex Jr. is only going to win two races in 2022. I think Mark Truex Jr. is going to take a little bit of a step back this year in the wins comp. Now, I do think that Mark Truex Jr. is going to show a lot of speed next year. I don't think he's going to really slow down in performance. However, I think that Mark Truex Jr. is only going to get two wins next season. I just don't think Mark Truex Jr. I think at this point, there's been a chart that came out from David Smith. from I can't remember what group that wrote that, uh, that article, but... Basically, there was a thing that came out, and it really showed that around the age of Mark Truex Jr., which going into next year, he'll be 42 years old, is when performance is going to decline. I think Mark Truex Jr.'s performance, unfortunately, is going to decline in a little bit slightly. I don't think he's going to absolutely struggle in 2022. I think he still for sure will make at least for sure the round of eight. But I think around this time, he's going to start declining performance a little bit, and I think he only picks up two wins in the 2022 season. Prediction number 18. Trackhouse Racing does not win a race in 2022. I do not believe the Trackhouse Racing is going to win. One, there's a little bit of inexperience from both drivers on the team. I do think that they actually are going to improve their performance because they're going to have the Chip Ganassi stuff next year. Because remember, they're basically buying up Chip Ganassi Racing's Cup Series operation next season. However, I do believe the track us racing still is going to need a little bit more work than needs to be done. You look at the end of the year, and I look at the regular end of the season, and they finished 25th in points with Daniel Suarez. They had a lot of mechanical problems in the middle portion of the year, and they did not make the playoffs. Meanwhile, 23-11, as the year got, got on, they got better. I feel like track us, as their year went on in 2021, their year got kind of a little bit progressively worse. Now, I do think both drivers are really, really good. Do not get me wrong. I just do not believe in 2022 that they are still going to have a chance of winning. Now, one big question is, will they attempt the Indy 500? That's one thing we're going to have to wait and see. But I believe that track us racing, unfortunately, is not going to win a race in 2022. Prediction number 19, William Byron is going to score two wins in 2022. Now, a lot of you are expecting William Byron to really set the world on fire after a really strong end of the year where he was extremely consistent. And I think he, once again, is going to be very, very consistent. However, I think that William Byron is only going to have one more win than he's had the last couple of years and only going to double it. Just because, one, I think the competition aspect, like I said, the competition to fill next year is really, really strong. I like William Byron a lot. I think he's got a lot of talented driver that I think long-term could be really, really good. But I haven't really seen him be too much of a championship contender yet in the NASCAR Cup Series. He kind of showed signs of that this year in 2021. And that's what I'm hoping going into 2022, he can show more signs of that going into next season. But I think William Byron will score two wins in 2022, those coming at Martinsville in Sonoma. I think long-term, he will be a driver that won a lot of races in each season. But I think right now, especially with how good Kyle Larson and Chase Elliott are at Hendrick Motorsports, I do not believe that he will get that done. I think that William Byron will only go to two wins, but he's going to be very consistent next season. And the final prediction, and prediction number 20, is the buy pick for the Daytona 500. Now, like I said last year, I plan to do picks for the Daytona 500 as well once we get close to the start of the season. Of course, we'll have the clash picks before that, but we will have Daytona 500 picks out on the channel as well. So, if you don't want to hear that, I'd rather recommend covering your ears because I'm going to tell you who I think is going to win. My driver, I think, that's going to win the Daytona 500. This guy has been extremely, really, really good at this track. He's a guy that's been really good at Super Speedways and won the last time we were here at Daytona National Speedway for a regular season race. My pick to win the Daytona 500 2022 is going to be the driver of the 12, Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney has been so, so close to winning the Daytona 500 so many times, but unfortunately has come up short to winning the Daytona 500. I think he finally gets it done and picks up his second straight win at Daytona, especially when he being one of the best drivers in Super Speedways. I think Ryan Blaney is going to be your 2022 Daytona 500 winner. So, anyway, those are my official 2022 NASCAR Cup Series predictions. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and turn on so notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. Let's get up over that and comment below your predictions for the 2022 season. And do you think that my predictions are pretty accurate, or do you think my predictions are a little bit out there? Let me know that in the comments below. Anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video, 
And I'll see you guys next time for some more great and awesome NASCAR content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.